sing a little louder than before. He wants us to realize that the same authority that Jesus Christ had when he walked in the earth, he has now given it to us. In Luke the 10th chapter, the 19th verse, the word of God says, Behold, I have given you power or authority, that word says, to tread on serpents and scorpions, and somebody say with me, and over all the power of the enemy. But we must understand, although we are located in earth, we are positioned and our authority comes from our seat in heaven. And so what God wants us to understand, we are citizens of the kingdom of God, although it looks like we're only citizens of America. <laughs> and the more we grab a hold of our kingly citizenship, the more everything in our mind begins to shift. The more everything in our intellect begin to do what? Submit to the spirit of the living God. What I need you to understand today, and we're going to talk about it as I lay out these three keys, is the reality that God has not just called you to his body, but he has called you as a king in his kingdom. And one of the things that we must understand that kings have, kings have a domain. They have a territory that they dominate in. And watch this, God wants you to know that he has not sent you to dominate in this territory alone, but he has sent the angels of the living God to make sure that everything that you say takes place in your territory. 